Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, Archer asks court to deny Wisk's request for a preliminary injunction. Also, FAA announces approved administrators for a recreational drone pilot safety test. And big plans, Walmart invests in DroneUp. Hi, I'm Kimberly Kang. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. And the drama continues between Archer and Whisk. In court documents filed over the weekend by Archer Aviation in opposition to Whisk's motion for a preliminary injunction, Archer, citing Whisk employees' testimony and documents produced by Whisk in discovery, states that Whisk filed its aircraft design patent application, which, as Whisk points out, in the lawsuit appears nearly identical to Archer's, weeks after learning of Archer's aircraft design. The filing says that Whisk chief engineer learned that Archer aircraft design during an Archer recruiting meeting in December of 2019 shared that information with senior executives at Whisk. And then weeks later, Whisk filed a patent application for an aircraft design which appears nearly identical to the one described to him by Archer executives. The court filing goes on to state that Whisk subsequently used his patent application as evidence of wrongdoing by Archer with both criminal authorities and the court. The court filing also states that despite Whisk claim to the contrary, Archer is not the target of an FBI or Justice Department criminal investigation and that an extensive forensic review of Archer systems belies Whisk allegation that Archer has stolen any of the documents that Whisk claims it did. The forensic review showed that none of the allegedly stolen documents exist on Archer's employee Gene Hughes' Archer devices or any of Archer's systems. After the break, Drone Advisory Committee attempts to rewrite aviation lexicon. I'll tell you why after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. I believe that if people use the landing doctor training program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. So let's go ahead and start with Drone Advisory Committee attempts to rewrite aviation lexicon. According to a recent FAA missive, Aviation is for everyone, and the Drone Advisory Committee is working to ensure that everyone feels included. During a DAC's meeting, FAA requested that they explore a potential language change. As an example, they note that the technical term for drones is Unmanned Aircraft Systems, or UAS. Unmanned, apparently choosing to define manned in terms of gender rather than species. Some of the committee's recommended replacements include aircrew for airmen, technician for repairmen, fabricated for man-made, and traditional aviation for manned aviation. 
Operations underway to restore payload computer on NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. NASA is continuing to diagnose a problem with the payload computer on the Hubble Space Telescope after completing another set of tests on June 23rd and 24th. The payload computer halted on June 13th and the spacecraft stopped collecting science data. The telescope itself and its science instruments remain in good health and are currently in a safe configuration. The spacecraft has two payload computers, one of which serves as backup, that are located on the Science Instrument and Command and Data Handling Unit. UAS innovators complete drill to integrate drones into emergency response in New Jersey. Imagine a Category 5 hurricane wreaked havoc in New Jersey before emergency responders are dispatched a fleet of unmanned aircraft is deployed to gather intelligence, providing real-time mapping and imagery of damaged areas, evacuation routes, utility lines, and even people in distress. This scenario was simulated recently at the Thunder Room, a state-of-the-art conference facility at the National Aviation Research and Technology Park. One of the sponsoring agencies for the drill, along with Cape May County and the Smart Airport Aviation Partnership. Magnix unveils two new optimized for flight electric propulsion units. Magnix has unveiled the Magni 350 and Magni 650 electric propulsion units, the latest advancements of the company's EPU offerings. Based on thousands of ground tests and flight hours, these EPUs have been optimized for real-world commercial aviation applications to further accelerate the path to certification for electric aircraft. Over the past few years, Magnix has been powering commercial-grade electric aircraft such as the eBeaver and the eCaravan. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. 16 organizations have been selected by the FAA to initially administer the Recreational Unmanned Aircraft Systems Safety Test. 16 organizations seen on your screen have been selected by the FAA to initially administer their Recreational Unmanned Aircraft System Safety Test, or TRUST. The test was developed to provide recreational drone flyers with aeronautical safety knowledge and an overview of the rules for operating drones in the national airspace system. These organizations are key to making this test widely available and easily accessible to recreational drone pilots, said FAA Administrator Steve Dixon. We need pilots of all aircraft, including those who operate recreational drones, to have the training and knowledge needed to operate safely in the nation's airspace. These tests may be taken through any of those following approved organizations. After these messages, Walmart invests in DroneUp. Those details after the break. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Big plans. Walmart invest in DroneUp. 
CEO and president of Walmart's U.S. business, John Furner, released the following memo. In our ongoing effort to get customers the items they want and fast, we know it will take a well-coordinated network of delivery solutions that span the streets, sidewalks, and skies. Some of these solutions are still emerging, but they're already showing encouraging results. Last year, we partnered with DroneUp, a nationwide drone services provider to launch trial deliveries of at-home COVID-19 self-collection kits. The trial demonstrated we could offer customers delivery in minutes versus hours. Now, after safely completed hundreds of drone deliveries from Walmart stores, we're making an investment in DroneUp to continue our work towards developing a scalable last-mile delivery solution. DroneUp operates an on-demand drone delivery network that matches their database of more than 10,000 FAA-certified pilots to missions nationwide. Since partnering with DroneUp last year, we valued their technological expertise, world-class operations, and experienced management team, and their commitment to helping the FAA ensure the highest levels of safety with every delivery. Well, that does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Don't forget to subscribe to YouTube. You can also catch us on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.